you gotta do three songs at least, right? Give me a break. That old hope. Here we go. Palisade, hoping for a gig with a little extra pay, no place to stay, thought I'd be sleeping in my car again, it was by the peach orchard there a man looked at me and knew how I fared, he smiled and said that he might have a hand to lend, we saw the joker and the thief, fighting right there in the middle of the street so he says come in on the road sit yourself down and warm your bones yeah, rest assured we got a good cup of coffee around here ha. take all the time you need and if i don't see you before you leave just know that old hope is always better than fear looking to crumble walls so I flew down to Wichita Falls to crash the leather workers a backyard barbecue I met the math man there who pulled out a joint and slicked back his hair he said the world is old but every day it's new if it don't work out don't you worry it's taking this long so what is the hurry Sit yourself down and warm your bones. Rest assured, we got a good cup of coffee around here. Take all the time you need, and if I don't see you before you leave, you just know that old hope is always better than fear. Yeah. Twins came up from North Pennsylvania, where it's pretty but the town's contained, and they were so easy to spot in all of their hometown bars. Said they needed a wingman here, they made the plans and I bought the beer. We had a long smoke in the garage by their car. Broke into song, singing the story. It was a pit stop on all our roads of glory. Sit yourself down and warm your bones. Rest assured, we got a good cup of coffee around here. Yeah. Take all the time you need, and if I don't see you before you leave, just know that old hope is always better than fear. Yeah. That old hope is always a better than fear. that old hope to get us going here on this Monday, the second week of 2024. Yes. How's it going, Phil? Good to see ya. Phil DeHaro Jr. in here from Hondo Boots. It's a Hondo Boots day for me, Phil. Got those 7875s today. We had lots of snow and, uh, it's a good boot for pretty much anything. So I'm rocking the Hondo 7875. Thanks for jumping in here, Phil. It's always good to see you. Cheers. Mm. Good to see you, Thomas. Thank you, Jim. Got a good cup of coffee around here. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. It's time to get at it. We got lots of work to do. It's only the second week of this year. And we got lots of things to accomplish. So let's get at it one day at a time. You know how it goes. We kick ass, take names, have a little fun while we're at it. I love you guys so much. It's so great to be back with you guys. Looking forward to doing it all over again tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to be on Instagram starting between 8.30 and 9 a.m. Eastern time. I'll see you then. 
Until then, wishing you the best and hope you guys have a spectacular day. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this Coffee of Music, number 1334. Peace. Have a great day. gems and quirks waiting to be explored and both of us have a yearning to always learn a little more as we barter like pirates while the tide is out from shore waiting to be taken to another world where our love will be unfurled and I don't know how this was seated to me but I grovel here
travel to the right to share an inspiration while laying in your stardust and knowing that it's where right where I belong. That's right where I belong. I'm gonna take it to the cities, I'm gonna take it to the towns, and over a drum or a But kept on par And with every thought of you My face fills between the ears Take me over love You're the common dear of the land is in the body of the west you can tell around harvest time yeah the fruits of labor make it a grand one to savor along with the struggle in the vine you can make it on down to the Cochise County line with the air it trails of the migrants without leaving to see where it grows and I raise my glass up high yes I raise my glass to the sky and toast to the whole desert away yes the west is still wild when you look on a new kind of gold rush this time Bring in the riches straight to your lips It's the wine from these dusty vines This has been the land of the fighters Since we learned what it offered And it's always rewarded the tough And these vines would make those old gunfighters proud Surviving no matter how rough For in this old desert You gotta take what you can get And get while the getting's good on the land When the hard winds bring in The rain from the south You can get clusters that fit in both hands And our race my glass up high Yes, I raise my glass to the sky And toast to the whole desert away Yes, the west is still wild When you look on it for miles But there's a new kind of gold rush this time Bring in Going up on the mesa with my dusty vino And I'm watching the sun go down I revel in the land's beauty and the wine in the glass And the fact that it came from its ground I'll raise my glass up high I'll raise my glass to the sky to the whole desert away I said the west is still wild when you look on it for miles but there's a new kind of gold rush this time bring in the riches straight to you.
To Boots and Ballads 2024 We got boots and songs and giveaways in store Come one, come all There's always room for more To Boots and Ballads 2024 How's it going? Good to see you guys this evening. Welcome to Boots and Ballads. This is the first one of the 2024 season. How's it going? My name is Jeremiah Craig. Welcome to this February 1st Boots and Ballads, the first live stream this year. And I'm so excited to get a kickoff into this season. That's right, because these are so regular now. I feel like this is just the 2024 season. And here we are. Rocking it from the start of the year to year's end where we'll have the season finale. Right now we got the season premiere and I'm so excited to hang out with you guys this evening. And if this is your first Boots and Ballads live stream, here's how it works. Play songs, mainly ballads, folk ballads. And ballads in folk music aren't the same as like ballads in classical music or jazz music. Ballads are songs that just tell stories. You know, and that's what it's all about. I love songs that tell stories. So I'm going to be playing some songs that tell stories. And we're going to be talking about boots. And I'm going to be having some giveaways here in between. In fact, let me break it down for you for what we got planned this evening. And then I want to say hi to everybody. Here's the program for this evening. Got some songs to play. We got some giveaway prize packs right off the bat. We'll get to in one second. And then we're going to talk about the most complimented cowboy boot color because uh, I kind of want to have a discussion with you guys about it to see if you are feeling the same way that I'm feeling. And then I will announce a special prize winner at the end of the night. And after all of this is done, we'll have the after party where we'll just hang out and have a good time if you guys want to hang out some more. So let me come in here in the live chat and say hey to everybody because it's so nice to see you guys this evening. Hey, Gary, good to see you. We got Carol Burgess in the house Good to see you. In fact, why don't why don't we start this off by uh, by putting in the comment section right now in the in the live chat what boots you guys were rocking today, and I'll say hey as we uh, as we go through it. Just let me know what boots you guys were rocking. I'll share the ones that I was that I'm wearing. Got the Hondo thirty four sixteen today. New buck bull hide fourteen inch tall boot. Yes, look at that new buck bull hide. 
This is the boot that I was rocking today. Hondo 3416 boot. It's just a good all around for anything. What were you guys rocking today? Smack Daddy, it's good to see you. Like the new hairstyle? I'm growing it out. Gonna try a new, a new haircut. Levi, what's up? How's it going? Is that Marcos? Yeah, it is. Good to see you, Marcos. Hey, Jeremiah. Good to see you, Jonah. Yes, we got Amy Hines in the house. Good evening to you. Thor Smite in here. Yo, Dave. How's it going, Primoz? Monica in the house. How's it going? Good to see you. She was wearing corrals today. Love to see it. Uh, Jim Collins, how's it going? Primoz was rocking those ropers. Jeremiah was rocking. Oh, my gosh. The Tony Lama Fireball ones. Those are sick, man. I love those boots. I'm jealous that you have those. Man, what a way, what a way to close out the week here in a pair of those boots. Tony Lama Fireball boots. Uh, Aegean is uh, was rocking some Lucchese Seville's. Oh, that must be Kathy. <clears throat> How's it going? Uh, Jason had the Tacova's docks today. That's what I'm talking about. Brian Board is rocking a pair of Hondo 3416s himself. Freddie. Mardis, how's it going? Good to see you, Freddie. Had the Dan Post Bay Apaches today. That's what I'm talking about. Thor Smite was rocking those San Antonios from Luke, uh, Luke Casey. That's a good boot. Ariat Darlin is what Amy Hines was rocking today. That's what I'm talking about. Alan got some Dan Post Wild Cherry Lizards. Are you kidding me? Let's go. Vaughn was at it. At work today in those Irish Setter Wedge Sole Work Boots. That's what I'm talking about. Levi rocking those BNV Ostrich Boots. RK, plain old roughouts. Gotta love it. Mafia Mike in some Ariat Sport Ramblers. Good to see ya. Smack Daddy is in some Tacova Nash Boots. Mark in some Ariat Square Toe Ropers. Let's go. Let's go. Smack Daddy says, let's be mullet buddies. I'm not going for the mullet, but I am going for what... I heard was a mullet adjacent haircut in the burst fade. So I think I'm gonna try the burst fade, which is very mullet-like, right? That's what I hear anyways. We'll see how it looks. We'll see how it looks when, it might look dumb, but hey, that's the fun of it. Good to see you guys. <laughs> Good evening to you. Yo, yo, yo. Good to have you here. Let's get right into some of the giveaways since you guys are here at the beginning of it. I got some prize packs to show you, so I'm going to be playing some songs uh, while you guys enter to win these prize packs. So let's start out with the prize pack number one because why the hell not? Let's do it right now. You guys are on time. We're doing this thing. So let's do a prize pack right now and get into the songs. So the first prize pack this evening, you all have a chance to win this if you participate in commenting in the live chat. We have a Justin hat. That's a nice looking hat, right? Uh, it is, it's a, one of those snapback ones. So I got that straight from Justin. And then I have a keychain here. It says, Old Boots Got Soul on it. Made by Twisted Willow Fabrication. Along with a Hondo pin, Hondo Boots pin, that's also made by Twisted Willow Fabrication. Up there in Geneseo, New York. We got a sticker pack and my first album that I released in 2011, Gardner Hands, on CD. So that's the first prize pack. And uh, how this works is I'm going to put uh, comment now in the live chat. And any comment after that comment is entered to win this prize pack. And I'll play the song. And then the, at the end of the song, I'll pick somebody at random uh, who won it. So don't spam the comment section or else I might skip over you when I'm counting them out. So... There it is, comment live. We're gonna uh, put a ticker in here as well uh, for those folks coming through. And I wanna play a song while you guys are entering to win that little prize pack. It's called One Shot. Now this is a song that is kind of uh, legendary, right? You ever, you ever wonder where they come up with the term shot of whiskey? Well, some people say back in the Old West, you used to be able to trade a 45 caliber bullet straight up for a shot of whiskey. They were basically the same price and some of the bartenders would take uh, a 45 caliber bullet in exchange. So that's why they started calling it a shot. But a lot of people disagree. Either way, it's a good story to tell in song, particularly with the characters from Tombstone. So here is One Shot, a song that I wrote on my album, Life is for Taking Chances. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I 
coming off the trail with Wyatt, Bat, James, and Virgil, and we were thirsty for some whiskey but had not a penny to our names. My boots were too dusty and my muscles too tired to sit with some inbreds and lie through my teeth for a few card games so the other four boys got a table and I moseyed on up to the bar. They often joked there was more silver on my tongue than in all of Tombstone. I said, barkeep, we came in only with our guns and good looks. We ain't good with the broom, ain't good with the books, but a drink would liven up our weary bones. What do you say? He said, empty your wheel gun out on the bar and we'll see how many rounds there are. Yeah, one shot four, one shot and I only deal in 45s. One shot for the whole lot and that leaves you with one shot for your life. Well, I looked at the bullets, but I looked longer at the bottle. As much as I hated to part with those five rounds, life's for taking chances. So I told the boys we had a deal, and they all came up for their drinks. Then my eyes stopped at the stairs, and Big Nose Kate and I were exchanging glances. Last I saw her was when the rangers took me from her bed. But she helped me escape before they could put a rope around my neck. She walked on over to where the mouth breathers were playing. One spouted a curse at her. I guess they weren't playing with a whole deck. Oh, I said, you got one shot to apologize, or I'll put one shot between your eyes. <laughs> one shot for one shot, and I only deal in 45s. One shot is all you got. You got one shot for your life. And then he said something dumb like he don't apologize to whores. So I figured he was asking for all the things that would come next. I still had my whiskey in my hand when he reached for his gun. But he was all wrist and it's all hip, so I kept my word a la tete. Then I was empty, but I hadn't spilled a drop. His friend made a move, I was quick to my knife. He knew he'd been beat by the shine of the blade. I finally drank and said, give me your bullets and I'll let you leave with your life. Well, before he ran, he let them fall to the ground. And I bought the boys in Kate's another round. Ha! One shot for one shot and I only deal in 45s. One shot. It's all you got, you got one shot for your life. Yes, all right now, one shot, one shot. One shot, let's go. That's how we kick it off here in Boots and Ballads. Season 2024, good to see you here. Are we, all right, we're stopping the, stopping. Stop in the comments right there. Thank you, everybody, for entering. Let's go. That song was called One Shot, and if you like it, you can hear it on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, and everywhere else. It's on my album, Life is for Taking Chances. Let's take a look at that prize pack again, because uh, this is what's up for grabs. Everybody who commented during that song in the live chat here uh, has a chance to win this stuff. A Justin Hat which is pretty cool, a keychain that says Old Boots Got Soul on it, made by Twisted Willow Fabrication, along with a Hondo pin that uh, was also made by uh, Twisted Willow Fabrication. Some stickers, including Life is for Taking Chances, stickers, and Gardener Hands, my first CD. So here we go. I got my winner right here, and I'm just going to count it out. One, two, three, four. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, Oh no, my cheer, my, there's no, there's no cheer. Oh well, I'll fix the cheer later. 
<laughs> Usually there's a nice little cheer, but we got Jim Collins as the first winner this evening. Congrats, Jim. Yo, appreciate you for jumping in here. Jim Collins, the first winner for the prize pack this evening. That's what I'm talking about. Let's check our program to see what's next. Are we doing another giveaway next? Let's see, let's see. Bring up that program again. I just played one shot, and we just gave away the first prize pack. Jim Collins, the winner. And yes, indeed, we have another prize pack to give away right now during this next song, Man in the Suit of Mirrors. Oh, man. So let's get to it. Let's do a second prize pack right now. Two right out of the gate. Let's go. You guys are the best. So here we go. Here's what's up for grabs in the second prize pack this evening. Oh, man. It's another hat prize pack this time steel blue an australian boot company as you can see it's kind of a cool logo don't you think steel blue boots out of australia uh we got another old boots got soul keychain made by twisted wheel fabrication along with another hondo pin as well also made by the great folks there twistedwheelfabrication.com a sticker pack look at that and some nice stickers there and my first cd gardener hands so that's the first uh, that's the second prize pack. Excuse me. We got a we got the second prize pack up for grabs right now, and I'm gonna play a song off of that CD called "Man in the Suit of Mirrors." So let's do it. Let's do it. We're gonna do a comment now again, just like the last time. If you just in here, I'm gonna put comment now in the live chat, and then every comment after that in the live chat is entered to win that prize pack that you just saw with some nice hats, some stickers, some pins, a CD. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice prize pack. So comment now. Every comment after this is entered to win. <clears throat> and then when I finish the song, uh, we'll pick our winner. So there we go. Comment now. We'll get the ticker going as well. This song is called Man in the Suit of Mirrors, and it's another story. It's another ballad. That's right, folk music. In folk music, ballads are songs that tell stories. So One Shot was definitely a ballad. And this next song is a murder ballad, which is something is in the uh, folk music as a, a story where there's a murder. <laughs> so that's what this one is, and I wrote it a long time ago, several years ago, after I saw a mattress commercial, because the guy was like, everybody's putting their money in their mattresses nowadays. And I thought, yeah, clever joke, man. Ha ha. But then I was like, what if somebody actually did do that? And then they got conned out of it by a con artist or a man in the suit of mirrors. So that's what this song is about. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> With a customized charm, he rolls into the room His three hounds at his back Entering with him is the lights of the moon To light the dark within you, showing you what you lack He has no title of power, but assumes the air It is mysteriously allowed It is his suit that makes him familiar to you and it brings your guard down And now, tell your mother to take you back home Tell your mother my fears Tell your mother to take you back home And be afraid of the man in the suit of meals There was an old country ball in the Smithson barn A wealthy family, t'was said In his usual attire under another name Into that ball he tread Now, Gerald Smithson owned the mine down the hill He held parties as he pleased After a little ale, he told the man in the suit Bed making sleep easily. 
Now the man in the suit found young Mary Smithson, the trophy that made Gerald's spouse. Mary had never met someone quite like herself. Soon offered him a tour of the house. She giggled and flirted as he jested his way. From different rooms she would lead Till they came to the bedroom Where he sat on the bed It was a good mattress indeed <laughs> Yeah, tell your mother To take you back home Tell your mother my fears Tell your mother to take you back home And be afraid of the man in the suit Of me Gerald Smithson went looking for his wife in dire need of a waltz. He went to the house and he called from downstairs. He heard only the echoes of his calls. Climbing the staircase, he went to his room. A cool breeze as he opened the door. His mattress was thin and there were only a few dollars left. Mary lay bare on the floor Tell your mother to take you back home Tell your mother my fears Tell your mother to take you back home And be afraid of the man in the suit of me Let's go. Let's go. That was the man in the suit of mirrors off of my album Gardener Hands, released back in 2011. My first album ever. You can hear it on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, and everywhere else, including this next giveaway pack. Let's look at it again because we got to choose our winner here. Thank you, everybody, for entering. So here's the prize pack that we got. We got a nice steel blue hat. A boot company out of Australia. I like the logo of this a lot. Steel Blue Work Boots. Then we also have a Old Boots Got Soul keychain, powder coated by Twisted Willow Fabrication there in Geneseo, New York, along with that Hondo Pin a Sticker Pack. Four stickers and my album Gardener Hands. That's a CD, by the way, so it's got about 11 to 12 songs on it, including the last one you just heard, Man in the Suit of Mirrors. So let's get our winner right now. Got the random number generator in here. I got to base it off of how many people are in here, and then we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Vaughn! Vaughn wins! Yeah, buddy! Vaughn is the winner of the second prize pack! Vaughn! That's what I'm talking about. Vaughn is the winner. Just one name. That's how epic Vaughn is. Just the one name. I'm going to need you to email me, Vaughn, at jeremiah.craig at jeremiahcraig.com. I just put my email in the live chat, so do a big copy and paste on that. And uh, send me an email. Send me an email uh, with your email address and I'll get that stuff off to you. I didn't have to tell Jim because he already knows all that stuff. He's here all the time. <laughs> Vaughn. Vaughn is the winner. Congrats, congrats, congrats. And that goes for the next winner too. Uh, be sure to email me, all winners at jeremiah.craig at jeremiahcraig.com. All right, let's take a look at this program because we just got our second prize pack done this evening. So what does that mean? Two songs, two prize packs? But we've only just begun because up next I got an awesome fun song for us with Mountain Dew. And then we're going to talk about the most complimented cowboy boot color. I got some ideas to run past you guys. It's going to be a little bit of a discussion. Uh, then I'm going to play some more songs, do a giveaway prize pack. And then we're going to announce our special prize winner at the end before we get into it with the after party, which is where I turn it over to you guys and you guys can say, let's talk boots or let's hear some more music. 
it's up to you guys. It's pretty chill. It's pretty chill. It's pretty fun. So considering, uh, consider to stick around to the after party too. It's where I'm a little bit more in the chat with you guys. I miss a lot during the actual, during the actual stuff that's happening right here. I'm gonna play Mountain Dew. You guys know Mountain Dew? It's a classic old folk song. <clears throat> Who knows where it came from? There's Irish versions. There's of course American versions. There's Grandpa Jones's version, <laughs> which is my favorite. <laughs> so, <laughs> a fun fact: when I first started playing music, I was in high school, and uh, this is the first song that I ever played up in front of people at the uh, at the high school at the high school talent show when I was like I don't know, twelve, thirteen, or fourteen, someplace in there. So, this is Mountain Dew. I hope you guys enjoy it. <clears throat> There's a big holler tree down the road here for me Where you lay down a dollar or two then you go round the bend, and when you come back again, there's a jug full of good old Mountain Dew. Yeah, they call it that old Mountain Dew, and them that refuse it are few. I'll shut up my mug if you fill up my jug with some good old Mountain Dew. Now, my Auntie June bought some brand new perfume. It had such a sweet smelling pure. But to her surprise, when she had it analyzed, it was nothing but good old Mountain Dew. Then there's my Uncle Nort. He's sawed off and short. He measures about four foot two. But he thinks he's a giant when he gets in my pints of that good old It all fewer. I'll shut up my mug if you fill up my tub with some good old mats and do. The preacher rode by, he had a tear up in his eye. He said his wife had been down with the flu. And he thought that I ought just to sell him a port of that good old Mountain Dew. My brother Bill, he's got a still up on the hill where he runs all the gallons through. All the buzzards in the sky get so drunk they can't fly from the smell of that good old Mountain Dew. Yeah, they call it that old Mountain Dew And them that refuse it all few I'll shut up my mug if you fill up my jug With some good old Mountain Dew Yeah, they call it that Mountain Dew! <laughs> what a fun song. What a fun song. That'll never not be fun. Highly re requested song on <laughs> coffee and music, too. It's one of the regulars that we start our day out <laughs> with. <laughs> time and time again. <laughs> At least once a week. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, man, oh, man. Good old Mountain Dew. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> How's it going up here? Good to see you. Yeah, buddy. Uh, did I play guitar and harmonica in high school? Uh, just at the end of it. Actually, no, technically, I didn't play the guitar yet. I was playing the banjo and the harmonica, technically, just towards the end of high school. I was playing those two together. So, uh, And then I picked up the guitar in, uh, in college and started writing songs then. Whew! 
Woo! Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you, Ombra. Good good to see you. Glad you liked it. Hey, Alan, that's what I'm talking about. Let's do it. Woo! Thank you, Monica. Thank you, thank you, Missing Link Outdoors. All right. We got to talk boots here, don't we? Let's check the program out. Um, we're going we're gonna to do uh, some most complimented cowboy boot color discussions. So that's what we got here. Um, just trying to catch my breath after that fun song while playing the harmonica. It's a fun song. It's fun. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with a fun song like that. <clears throat> so, I want to talk about. I want to talk about something with you guys because usually, on these segments here, I come in with numbers and you guys have filled out a poll and everything. You guys voted. You had your say and everything. And I have graphs to show everybody. This is what everybody likes. But I can't do that today because it's not. Something that I don't think that we could really do that with because we're talking about the most complimented cowboy boot color. I've noticed a pattern, all right? And I want to share my thoughts with you guys. A little bit of a discussion. I want to bounce this idea off you a little bit. I've noticed a pattern. And I have qualitative evidence and quantitative evidence to argue that cognac is the most complimented cowboy boot color so that's life experiences. And I also got the numbers to prove it. So let's have this discussion. Cognac is the most complimented cowboy boot color. And here's why. Here's why. Now, I got to take you back several years, maybe four years, three or four years. Let's say three or four years. And I got these boots uh, from Yeehaw Cowboy. Remember Yeehaw Cowboy? Not around anymore. Uh, YeehawCowboy.com. I did a video on these boots right here, the Stetson JBS Lizard Boots. And I didn't know it at the time, but uh, it's a good looking boot for sure. But I didn't know that it would eventually become my most complimented pair of boots by far. Like it was an outlier. I'd be walking down the street in Boston or uh, I don't know, uh, some some place in New York, like Geneseo or Ithaca here. And somebody would say, nice boots, when I was wearing those ones more frequently than any other boots that I had. And I started to take notice, like, oh, this is just the boot that gets complimented. But then I started wearing the BNV boot a little bit more with a cognac color. And then these got complimented quite a bit. And... Just yesterday, even, I was wearing these Tony Llama boots right here, also very similar color, and about four guys nearly lost their shit because they thought my boots were so cool. They said, wow, those are cool boots. And I was like, man, thanks. <laughs> I'm noticing a pattern here. All right, those are my qualitative. Those are my life experience data that I have for you guys, but I also have some hard numbers for you guys, because I got to come in here with my argument to say that cognac is the most complimented color. So I ran the numbers last year as well for the most liked photos on my Instagram, right? So the, they do this top nine thing, right? Let me show you the top nine most liked photos from my Instagram in 2023. Look at that. Look at that. Every single freaking boot is basically the same color except for these except for these chocolate sea turtle ones up here. Right? Those are a special pair of boots though, right? Special pair of boots pre-ban before 1970. I think they were around, made around 1969, so they're different, right? You don't usually see them, so I could understand why that would make the top 9, but everything. They all had the same same color, basically, and all of those had between 800 and 1,000 likes each. So I, I have to think that that's pretty good data there, pretty good numbers for me to argue the fact that cognac is the most complimented color. What do you do with that information? Like, you get a Chisos King Roper, and all of a sudden you get all these compliments. So what do you do with that information? Is it is it an egotistical move, like, ooh, my next pair of boots, I gotta make sure everybody sees them and everybody loves them. 
or I got to make sure that I get high on those compliments, right? It's fun. It's fun to wear boots where you get compliments, right? So if you're looking for that sort of thing, I feel like you could do that. But let me know what you guys feel in the comments section. I also polled you guys or the, those of you who are in my um, Facebook group. It wasn't really a poll. It was more of like a post. And I said, uh, share a picture of your most complimented boots that you've noticed so far. And 8 out of 15 of them were derivatives of this cognac color. Basically this color. 8 out of 15. Other ones were gray, black cherry, um, things like that. And I think, I think because the dark browns and the blacks, they sort of uh, blend in with what we expect people to wear on a regular basis, right? So we just don't look at boots or shoes that are dark brown or black, right? They're just right over our head, even if they're alligator, right? But you get this color, this type of color right here, which isn't like, it's not screaming like a red or a bright blue or something like that. Like this is still um, acceptable color in the mainstream, right? So I feel like it's accepted by a bunch of people as, yeah, that's just a light brown and it's totally normal to wear a light brown boot. But you see it more. It pops more than the dark browns or the blacks. So I think, I think that's the reason why. Uh, I think that's the reason why Cognac seems to be the most complimented color to me. But what do you guys think? Let's take it to the live chat in the comments section here. Uh, definitely Cognac, Carol says. She notices that as well, even for the ladies. Nice. Hombre, same as honey. Yeah. Same color as honey. Um, I believe Chisos calls this burnt orange. Like, they all have their names, right? But they're all basically the same color. <laughs> Let's see. Freddy says, definitely cognacs and black cherry for the win. You get lots of compliments on both, especially those Tony Lama 6210s. Yeah, that's right there in the same, that's right there in the same color scale. We did a video on those. Those are some nice boots. <clears throat> Smack Daddy says, yeah, light brown, tan, cognac, around that hue is your favorite as well. Uh, Nico in here says that the uh, black cherry get lots of compliments too. Yes, 100%. I've noticed that as well. I've noticed that as well. You wear those cognac boots, Alan says. Yeah, I love it. You like the red jacket? It's like a chamois shirt. It's kind of nice. I like it. It's kind of cozy. Although under these lights, it might be a little hot too. Did those boots have my signature design? Amy asks. Yeah, this was my collab boot. This was my first collab boot with BNV Boots. And he put my brand in the top there. And we ran a limited run. We did a limited run of these back in 2020. Was it 2020 or 2021? Um, where 20 people were able to able, were able to get their own. Um, and maybe we'll do another collab here soon. We'll have to see how it goes. And maybe there's already something in the works with another company because I know the price point of the BNVs um, definitely, definitely lost some folks there, which is okay. It's a really nice boot. Like it's, it's definitely worth it at the same time. Jim says cognac is contrast and gets noticed. It is contrast. It's like a lighter brown or lighter color against what usually is a dark surface of dirt or sidewalk or asphalt, whatever it is. Jeff, Horse, Jeff Horton loves the Lucchese blue. I love what they do with blue. I think blue is so cool. Um, but I feel like blue is less mainstream at the same time. Like You'll get compliments from people um, who are boot enthusiasts, say, hey, that's a nice blue boot that you got there. But other people will look at it quick and think that it's black or think that it's if it's blue-blue, they might be like, oh, it might take them off a little bit. It might be like, what is that? And they don't have time to compliment. Cognac is like, oh, those are nice. That's a nice color. It like clicks right away. <clears throat> Brian says the Cognac Full Quills and the Cognac uh, Dampost Lizards get the most. Love it. You guys. See, here's another one from Fran talking about uh, gray Nakona bo boots. Yeah, that's another one. Like gray uh, is is in that acceptable range, but it just pops a little bit more depending on what you're wearing it with, right? And that, that kind of boot does get a lot of compliments. <clears throat> There's something about cognac that can be dressed up or down. That's very true. 
That's very true. Love the Wrangler, Cognac, and the Blue Jeans. Yes, 100%. Please do a collaboration. You want a pair. Well, maybe, maybe there's a factory someplace already getting ready to make some. <laughs> hey, Carlos. <laughs> Thank you so much for that super chat tip. I appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate it. RK says, you got several different color boots, but the first pair you got from your dad at five. So brown has always felt right because that's what your dad did. Oh, yeah, I completely understand that. Brown is by far the most, it's the most popular color for boots. I remember uh, I did that segment a long time ago. Like, this is the most popular color. These are the colors that you guys like. And brown is half. Everybody likes brown the most and then black, of course. Um, but, uh, I mean, this is included. This could be included in brown. <clears throat> like, what is brown? <laughs> this is technically a brown. We got a, a brown, a light brown foot and a dark brown top. <laughs> and the gray acmes, gray there again. So it's like cognac, black cherry, and gray. I love it. <clears throat> I love it. Have a favorite color for python boots? You know, Vaughn, um, I like... I like black python. I think that looks really cool uh, if you don't want to go natural. Natural always looks, you can never go wrong with natural. But if you don't want to go natural, I think black is a really cool look. Or that suede blue. Suede blue also looks really cool with python. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about a cool color for python if you're not going to go natural? Some people are like, no, let's go natural. <clears throat> it's got to be natural. Cool. I'm glad we're kind of on the same page with that because I was a little bit worried that I would be like, this is what I think, and I think it's the most complimented color. I don't know what you're going to do with that information, but it's it's an interesting thing to recognize, and, I, and I'm, I'm glad to see that I'm not uh, standing out here <laughs> by my lonesome in that idea. You had a pair of brown Justin Python boots that never fit right. Uh, like a chocolate brown, like a dark brown. That's a good look, too. You want a pair of diamondback rattlesnakes? That is such a good... I love that snake pattern so much. I think it's the best snake, snake pattern uh, for boots, especially. It's so cool. <clears throat> the black Tacova Pythons, the uh, birthday boot, it did look good. It did look good. Black is cool on all reptiles. <clears throat> I agree. Um, gray. I really like the look of gray lizard. I think that's really cool. <clears throat> I think that's really cool. All right. It's time for a jingle. Time for a jingle after that. Because <clears throat> you know we always end the videos with jingles. And if you don't stick around until the end of the videos. Maybe you should start because there's always a jingle at the end of these boot videos. <laughs> Some are better than others, but hey, that's how it goes. If you're looking for an ego boost, it's time to get fast and loose with Cognac. With Cognac. We're getting high on compliments now that we've jumped the fence with Cognac, with Cognac, yeah. You gotta love those Cognac color boots, right? Most complimented. <laughs> Which might be good for those days that you know are gonna be difficult. Cause it's always nice to hear, hey, those are nice boots. You know what I'm saying? You ever get that? I know a lot of you guys are, are those kind of folks that are just like, hey, those are nice boots to everybody that you come across. But uh, sometimes those of you out there who are doing the compliment and don't get as many compliments. <laughs> so let's just make it a regular thing. Nice boots. Yeah, nice boots, man. Right back at you. <laughs> oh, you want a hot yoga jingle? All right. Maybe later. Maybe in the after party. How about that, Jeff? <laughs> Fran says, I've been meaning to ask you. You reviewed a pair of Hondo boots 
that were in bison. It was a full bison boot, both the vamp shaft and uh, how would I describe it? Um, that the the color that color was chocolate. That was a nice that was a nice boot at one of my favorite stores that I was at on the uh, Hondo on the second Hondo tour. Um, it was called Bottle and Vet in Phillip, South Dakota. Guys, this store is so cool. They have like all of this uh, medicine for cattle and horses up front. And then they have all the booze on the side over here, all the vodka, the whiskey. And then they got the beer in the fridge in the back. And then you go down the aisle a little bit. They got spurs. <laughs> they got like toys for kids, horses, ho toy horses for the girls. And then you go all the, all the way back and they got the boots on the shelf. It is seriously the coolest store ever. I know wall drug is like this, the place to stop but seriously Phillips South Dakota and bottle and vet is literally like 30 minutes away from wall drug there in South Dakota right off the 90 it's 30 minutes away and it's totally worth it it'll blow your mind it's such an interesting small town boot store that has everything in it it's so cool it's so cool <laughs> but yeah I, I, that was a good that was a good uh, boot really soft it was very very soft bison um, all the bison that I've tried since then, like the one um, here, this Ariat Cl this Ariat Clanton, um, and other brands that have like the bison leather, or whatever they want to call, it. it's always thick. That was really interesting. That was a much more supple, like a water buffalo, like a water buffalo calf feeling. Very very nice. Uh, Jim Collins wants to see the blackjack pirucus, uh, kind of in the same color but just a little bit more tan. The Blackjack Pirucus, these get compliments, but a lot of times they're just kind of shocked. People are just, especially up here in the Northeast, they're just like, what are you wearing? That is weird, but it also looks really cool. Those babies, love them, love them. Oh man, Mark Somerville says, speaking of color, has there ever been a color that is similar to the back of the guitar along uh, that's styled with grain. Uh, I have seen wood grain leather uh, Rocket Buster boots. Rocket Buster <clears throat> made uh, like a a wood a wood style. I don't know how they did it. Leave it to them to do that weird stuff. Uh, I think it was Rocket Buster, but they made a boot that looked like wood grain. Like seriously, they did. They might have painted it, but if they did, it was really freaking good. Um, which I wouldn't be surprised. It is Rocket Buster. But uh, look that up, Rocket Buster. It was, it was, it's a, it's a weird looking boot. Looks like they made it out of wood, but it moves like leather. It's crazy. It's so cool. Yeah, right. Most people in New York State aren't used to seeing exotic boots at all. <clears throat> Although the lead singer from uh, Cast Iron Cowboys got a, got a pair of eel skins. So they're they're here and there, they're here and there. Like ostrich too. Every once in a while, I see ostrich. Everybody loves ostrich. Rosewood or mahogany looking boots. Yeah, that would be really cool. All right, let's check this uh, program. Actually, there was something that I wanted to sneak in here, in between um, the most complimented cowboy boot color little discussion and segment there. So thanks guys for uh, hanging out with me for that. Um, and I wanted to sneak in a little a little thing because. Um, Every year, I like to choose somebody uh, to be the strongest stepper of that year. The person who's shown me a lot of support, uh, was super positive all year long, was on the coffee musics, like was, was, a, was somebody that was really in it here on the channel. I want to thank them, uh, and I do it every year, especially for those folks who, who didn't win a, a, a giveaway. Um, so in the past, we had Neil McLaren who was the first strong stepper. I believe that was in 2020. And then Lucas White was the second uh, strong stepper. Uh, then the third strong stepper was Carlos. Carlos is in here, Carlos Mondragon. And then today, I want to uh, thank the strongest stepper here uh, for 2023. 
So we're going to talk about the strongest stepper, 2023. This is a person who is always positive, comes through uh, nearly every single day. And I want to thank them by giving them a $250 gift certificate for a brand new pair of boots. Um, and they'll also be the strongest stepper of 2023 uh, all year long. And it's uh, somebody very positive. It is this year, the strongest stepper, 2023. And my enormous gratitude goes to Freddie Mardis. Freddie, Freddie, Freddie. Let's go, Freddie. Freddie is an awesome guy, so positive every single day. He comes through every single day. It's cold in Illinois. It is miserable, but he's still coming through with just a big digital smile on his face. You can just feel his energy in the live chat. He's not actually on the live stream like his face or anything, but you can just feel his energy every single day. And you feel that energy on the uh, Cowboy Boot group in Facebook. Uh, you feel it on Instagram. You feel it on the YouTube channel. It's just all the time. Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. I want to thank you so much for your support this year. Uh, really want to thank you for your support this year. I'm going to send you a $250 gift certificate to put towards a brand new pair of boots. So thank you, Freddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you a lot. And I wrote this song. This is one of my newer songs, probably my newest song. <clears throat> that uh, is is an appropriate song. It's an appropriate song to play now uh, after Colin announcing Freddie as the strongest stepper 2023. Uh, this song is called The Right Way to Wear Cowboy Boots. So I hope you enjoy. This is for you, Freddie. I got my cowboy boots at 17 from the trailer store I never knew what it could mean to level up to something more Pants over or tops out, let's kick ass and take names Cause that's what it's all about when nothing else can feel the same it didn't take long for me to know Boots ain't just for those in the rodeo You could be a cowboy or an engineer Wearing boots is about having no fear And willing to put up a fight To always do what's right Wearing boots in the streets or in the mud Just wearing them is wearing them the right way, bud Can't tell me nothing, I'ma always do what I please. That don't mean I ain't roughin', cause nothing don't come with ease. So I boot up and I step strong, trying to do my part. Wearing these boots to be my best and live straight from the heart. So it don't matter what you wear your boots with. Just as long as you never quit, you could be a cowboy or an engineer. Wearing boots is about having no fear And willing to put up a fight To always do what's right Wearing boots in the streets or in the mud Just wearing them is wearing them the right way, bud You know, most of the time I have no idea what the hell I'm doing I get kicked down and knocked around, but still I keep on going. And I need a good pair of boots that can handle the same. Just like everybody else. Just like the rock stars, the cowgirls, the big rig bosses, coders, gurus, and hairdressers. Wearing sweats, dress pants, skirts, shorts, or bootcut jeans. What's the right way to wear cowboy boots? Hmm. Well, it's being kind with an open mind. Doing chores and holding doors and trusting yourself. Above all else, you could be a cowboy or an engineer. Wearing boots is about having no fear and willing to 
put up a fight to always do what's right. Wearing boots in the streets or in the mud. Just wearing them is wearing them the right way, bud. <laughs> yeah. Just wear those boots. And that's the right way to wear cowboy boots. Right there. Thank you, Freddy. Thank you, thank you, drink. Thank you so much. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I'll send you an email about that. I appreciate you. Man, oh, man. Man, oh, man. Whoo. <laughs> right? As a drugstore cowboy, song speaks to you. Anybody can wear it. They, they got this, uh, there's like this huge insecurity a lot of people have about making that step. <clears throat> but uh, they're really just like any other footwear, so give it a shot. Give it a shot. There's no reason to be insecure about wearing boots. <laughs> All right, let's do a, the last prize pack giveaway this evening before we get into uh, before we get into the big surprise prize. This big surprise prize <laughs> here in a minute. Uh, so let's do another prize pack. Uh, we got prize pack number three. This is the final prize pack this evening. Let's go. Here we go. Prize pack number three. We got a t-shirt prize pack. And in the t-shirt prize pack, we have the Old Boots Got Soul t-shirt. This was donated by Neil McLaren. He's he's buying you this t-shirt if you win. We also have a steel blue beanie, a nice warm cap there. And Old Boots Got Soul keychain made by Twisted Willow Fabrication along with a Hondo pin also made by TWF, TwistedWillFabrication.com in Geneseo, New York. We got a sticker pack. Nice stickers here. And my first CD, Gardener Hands, uh, that I recorded and released back in 2011. So here we got a t-shirt Winner gets their size. So you don't have to worry about what size is the t-shirt. Um, uh, Neil Neil McLaren is buying you that t-shirt, so he'll buy you whatever shirt uh, size you want. So huge shout-out to Neil. Um, I don't know if he's here. It's late in Scotland. He's probably sleeping. So um, that is courtesy of Neil. And I'm going to tune here, but uh, you guys might as well start um, started here in the in the live chat. So how you enter to win that prize pack is I'm going to put comment now in the live chat and every comment after that is going to be entered to win that. Um, just be careful about uh, spamming because I might skip over you if, uh, if I notice that you're spamming a little bit too much. This next song is also another new one that's not on any streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music or any place yet. This is a new one. I wrote it uh, maybe six, seven months ago. Maybe that. So it's still pretty new since I've been releasing music since 2006 or whatever. <clears throat> so it's still pretty new in the grand scheme of things. It's called Held Together by Hand-Me-Downs. All right? You guys know the hand-me-downs that uh, you used to get as kids. Sometimes those hand-me-downs, they keep getting better, right? As you get older, because you get trusted with more. So the hand-me-downs that you get mean more, and they're just better quality stuff that you can use. And they end up getting integrated into your everyday life. And that's what this song is about. It's about all those things getting integrated into your everyday life and just making it who you are, right? <clears throat> Basically your roots uh, held together by hand-me-downs. So here it is, this is a new song and I hope you like it. Start out the day with my mother's pancake recipe For that good old stick to your ribs all day energy I pull on my wool rich from a great grandpa Moore He helped our family with the cabin so we could move out the trailer A 
watch from my father to no patience in time. He got it turning wrenches after 30 years of the grind. I'm suited up to last no matter what comes my way. I'm rooted in my past, ready to make this my day. They don't make them like they used to, a pound for pound. I'm held together by hand me down. My belt buckle and boots off from my godfather Bill. He wrote a book of his wisdom and I study it still. A hunting knife from my uncle with a tooled leather sheath. I dressed my first buck with it when I was only 14. And jeans from my brother since we're nearly the same size. But he does jujitsu and I drink more than what's wise. I'm suited up to last no matter what comes my way. I'm rooted in my past, ready to make this my day. It don't make them like they used to, pound for pound. I'm held together by hand me down. I flipped through pages of Louis L'Amour Great Uncle Charlie read Taggart three times or four I laid down on the grandma's quilt that's ragged with years With all this around, I can rest without fears I'm suited up to last no matter what comes my way I'm rooted in my past, ready to make this my day it don't make them like they used to, a pound for a pound. I'm held together by hand me downs. I'm held together by hand me downs. Yes, held together by hand me downs. That's a new one. We're going to stop it right there. We're going to stop it right there. Let's go. I know, right, Alan? Me too. Growing up on hand-me-downs. Who doesn't? <laughs> and then sometimes those hand-me-downs are just, just outliving everything else to today, right? They're just outliving everything else today. <clears throat> and it seems like we are held together by them. <laughs> like we're held together by them sometimes. <clears throat> Thank you, Thoris Mike. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jim. Whoo, thank you, Brian. Yeah, that would be really nice if you guys hit that like button. Let's go. All right, let's find our winner here. Uh, so we got uh, 46 folks in here. We stopped it, so let's find our winner right now. There we go. It's number four. It's going to be one, two, three, four. Alan! Alan Kilzer. Good to see you, and congrats, Alan Kilzer says, thanks, Neil, for the shirt. Yes, Alan can thank Neil for that shirt because Alan is the winner. Alan Kil uh, Kilzer with the comment, thanks, Neil. That's the perfect, that's the perfect one. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> All right, now it's time. We're going to do this once more. We're going to do this one more time. We're going to do this comment thing just one more time this evening. Congrats, 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 Alan. We're going to do this one more time. This is the special prize at the end here that I mentioned. And we're going to run it during the... Oh, that's not the one. Where's my program? Uh, we're going to run it during Viaduct, and then we're going to jump right in the after party. So this is the finale right now. So the final prize this evening that I want to share with you guys is a $250 gift card to put towards some boots. I'm going to say you should probably use it on cartersboots.com or timsboots.com. I'll give you a gift certificate for $250 for a pair of boots on those two because uh, they have been very kind to me and are small business run by family. Family, small business, 
So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a 250 gift certificate right now. And I'm going to plot I'm going to play Viaduct and you guys will have the portion of the song to enter to win just like what we've been doing. So I'm going to put comment now in the live chat. Every comment after that is entered to win. But don't be like flooding it with emojis and stuff or I'm going to skip over you. Same rules apply. Same rules apply. Comment now. We're also going to do the giveaway ticker for everybody coming through. And then we will get our winner. So I'm going to play Viaduct right now. You guys have the time for this song to enter to win a $250 gift certificate on me to put towards a pair of boots. Let's go. On me, <clears throat> on me. You guys are using my promo codes and using my affiliate links, and I really appreciate you supporting my channel like this. I wanna support you guys back. So $250 towards a pair of boots on me. This is Viaduct, good luck. suitcase on the viaduct and Miss Pross said she'd sew a new handle on I met Ramona in the waiting room and we decided to get lost in the gamelon Yes, she took me up to the attic now to tell me more about how she was feeling and we laughed when I lost my shirt and my foot fell through the ceiling, through the ceiling now and I wave, wave, wave from above and I wave, wave, wave at you low and I wave, wave, wave from above on the viaduct, yeah. Now I saw blue. He was shaking them trees as I was crossing over the interstate. He was done reaching at them prickly pears, finally trying to put on a little winter's weight. Yes, he told me to come stand upon his shoulders, cause the ones at the top are the sweetest. And I know firsthand just what he means. Yes, I can feel it. Yes, I feel it too. And I wave, wave, wave from above. And I wave, wave, wave at you, Lord. And I wave, wave, wave from above on the viaduct. Yeah. Now I make no haste, cause if it goes to waste, it was meant to perish, and now I make no haste. I take a good taste, one that I can cherish now, one that I can cherish now. Yeah. And the onlookers can think whatever they please, but to me it feels just as real. Maybe even a little bit better See, I got no problem With frozen custard meals And I'll probably stay up here Quite a bit longer Yeah, see, I'm just liking it this way And I think I'll be just fine Staying here the rest of my day I 
Yeah, Dirt. Yeah, that's off of that Gardner Hands CD. And it's also on Spotify, Apple Music, and everywhere else. Brian Little, thank you, thank you, thank you for that super chat tip. That's where we're going to stop it. Right there. Boom. All right. Thank you guys for hanging out and listening to that. Man, oh man. Look at you guys. Look at you guys. All right, let's find our winner here. 48 folks. All right. I might take a little bit longer to count this out just to make sure that I got it right. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, no way, Vaughn, Vaughn gets it, oh, double winner tonight, are you kidding me, man, oh man, Vaughn is the winner of the gift certificate, $250 gift certificate for a new pair of boots, or just to put towards a pair of boots, Vaughn is the winner, Vaughn is the winner. I'm going to need everybody to email me all the winners. Jim Collins, Vaughn, and Alan Kilzer at JeremiahCraig at JeremiahCraig.com. You kidding me? Vaughn had a lucky night. Vaughn had a lucky night tonight. Damn. Damn. He stole this. <laughs> Congrats, Vaughn. Congrats. I'm going to need you to email me. And... uh I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll send you that gift certificate, uh, to Carter's boots, Tim's boots. I'm going to, I'm going to suggest highly that, uh, you take it. One of those small businesses online, family business stuff. Uh, they're really cool. They, and they, and they work great with, uh, with customers, great customer service. So, uh, but if you have a pair of Ariats on your mind or something like that too, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll send you a gift certificate to that too. But, uh, let me know what you want. Let me know where you want that gift certificate to. Mm -mm -mm. Congrats, Vaughn. Congrats. And that does it. That does it for this first Boots and Bounds. Congrats to all the winners, especially Vaughn, for winning the surprise prize at the end, which was a $250 gift certificate to put towards a pair of boots. Man, we're going to want to know what you choose. Or what's on your list to choose. You know what I'm saying? Congrats, Vaughn. Congrats. Congrats. All right. That about does it here for this. Uh, I guess it's the uh, organized portion of the Boots and Ballads. So if you got some place to be, then uh, that's cool. That's cool. But we're going to hang out here for an after party. This is where I turn it over to you guys. And we can chat. We can chat. I can play some more music. You know, I had that uh, that uh, conversation that I wanted to have with you guys earlier about uh, cognac color boots. If you guys have a conversation piece that you want to talk about, we can do that. If you want to hear more music, that's cool too, but uh, thank you. I just want to thank you so much for hanging out with me this evening. I want to thank the Super Chat folks, Carlos, Brian. I want to thank everybody who won something and congratulate you. I love you guys so much. Thank you for letting me be able to do this. This is so much fun, and uh, without you, I wouldn't be able to do these giveaways. Before you head out, if you do have some place to go, I want to show you what the next giveaway is because I already have it booked, and it is with cartersboots.com. This is the next giveaway. Sneak peek to you guys. Sneak peek. Next giveaway is horsepower. Let's go. Horsepower. This is their suede, their camel suede. This is uh, HP uh, 9500. I just started recording this. I did the, the first impression part of the extended test. Now I just have to test these out. And then we'll have the video coming soon. And then the giveaway shortly thereafter. So that'll be happening in March. Probably at the end of March is when the giveaway for those will be. So keep a lookout uh, because... I have a lot of stuff here. I have a huge pile of boots. There is so many giveaways this year, guys. I already have a bunch planned. So stick with me because this season of Boots and Ballads, the 2024 season, 
is going to be epic, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Love you guys so much. After Party starts now. If you got a split, peace. Love you so much. Let's start the After Party. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Those are beautiful, right? I really like the color of those, and here is what I like even better. Horsepower. Horsepower. Stick with me here. Horsepower is now making Bewits for men. So this boot right here is a Bewits. It's a narrow width, and they're going for $270. $270. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? I hope Horsepower takes everything from Tacovas. <laughs> I hope they take all the market share. Tacovas not doing any Bewits. And here, Horsepower is... Being like, hey, we can get our boots made in Mexico, too, and do Bewitz. Suckers. <laughs> That's going to be a fun video. Need a tour of Central Texas. I would love it. I would love to come uh, back to Texas and uh, visit San Antonio. I love San Antonio. Visit Dallas. Visit Austin. Visit Houston. <laughs> visit El Paso. Visit Wichita Falls again. Man. So much fun stuff happening. Yeah, I know, right, Smack Daddyus? You can get them now. The, you can get them now through cartersboots.com to be with. Um, but uh, we got a special giveaway coming up. Um, and, of course, Horsepower uh, does also make uh, women's boots for the ladies out there, and they make a very similar one to this. So um, if, you, if a lady wins, then they get the Macy Bean option um, because that's basically Horsepower for ladies. Is the Macy Bean. <laughs> Bigger sizes too? I don't know, Jim. Let's check it out. Let's see what they actually I don't think uh I don't know if Carter's Boots is gonna have them all on the website. I don't know if they're gonna have all the sizes here, but uh we can take a peek. For that boot, it goes up to 14D. But um that might be also, the only, the only ones that they're stocking, uh, at least on cartersboots.com, because there's also all only D-widths here, and I have a B-width. So, Carter's has access to the Horsepower catalog on the back end, the whole, you know, their retailer website where you can order stuff and drop ship. Um, but uh, they may be doing 15s. Uh, we'll have to find out. I'll ask, I'll ask Garrett. I'll ask Garrett and see if they're doing 15s. Um, and, and higher. Wasib, how's it going? It's been a while. Good to see you. <clears throat> Smack, Smack Daddyus collaboration? Yes, I would love to do a collab with Smack Daddyus. That would be so cool. That would be so cool. <clears throat> uh, Vaughn, the small businesses that I suggested were Carter's Boots and Tim's Boots. So here is the... Uh, is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? There it is. Uh, t Carter's Boots and Tim's Boots. So at Carter's Boots, you have Hondo Boots. You have Finolio. You have Horsepower, that boot that I just held up. Um, and then at Tim's Boots, you have Cowtown and Blackjack, Los Altos. Um, so timsboots.com or cartersboots.com. Um, those are the ones that I would love to, to buy a gift certificate uh, for you from. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> If you want something else, that's cool too. Carlos. In fact, with that $250 gift certificate, these would only cost you, actually, these, you'd have $10 left over because if you use my promo code with cartersboots.com, Jeremiah Craig, no spaces at checkout, it saves you 10%. So this $270 boot gets knocked down to like $240. You get this boot for free. <laughs> That's how you could play this right now, Vaughn. That's how you could play this. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Thoris Mine. I appreciate the donation. I appreciate it. <clears throat> did did you did you say I had a 2024 trip with uh Hondo Phil planned? Uh, not yet. It's not official or anything, but we were talking about me coming down to El Paso. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. I appreciate it. Yeah. You need to try the Chisos. Ladies' boots in 11 and take out the insole. Uh, you think they would fit you way better than the 10Ds. Yeah. 
It's worth a shot. Why not? Why not? They were swayed, RK. Technically, this is this is a suede. Um, so it is a split leather, not just the rough out. It's a split, so not as good as rough out, um, but it looks cool <laughs> and is softer. Um, yeah, Jay, uh, Vaughn won a $250 gift certificate, so he could use that all on a pair of these boots here from Horsepower and still have enough left over for conditioner like Carol says. Carol's like you could you could you could get some big four even on top of that. <laughs> but not for these. These would need the suede. You'd need the distressed leather or the suede cleaner on these ones. Not distressed leather. You'd want the suede cleaner, rough out cleaner on these. <clears throat> but yeah, you could totally do it. Could totally do it. Brian says, "Where's those Hondos? Uh the Hondo the Hondo boots are the ones you wear the most. The 3416s, these ones right here, Brian. These are the ones you wear the most. Yours. Brian won those in the giveaway, too, way back. Way back when we did the giveaway. for That was the first Carter's Boots giveaway, too. <clears throat> that was the first Carter's Boots video. Yo, Jeff, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for the super chat tip. Yo. <sighs> He says, I'm going to be listening to the after party on the commute home. Thanks for letting us join you, man. Thank you. <clears throat> so, uh, RK says, some suede's are more durable than others. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure that horsepower doesn't mess around. Um, I'm sure they pick the good stuff that they can. <clears throat> Freddie doesn't have any suede, suede boots yet. Wink, wink. Maybe he'll do the same thing. Maybe he'll take his $250 gift certificates and get a pair of those. He could do the same thing from his Step Strong win. Dude, we got some moves you guys could make in here. We got moves. <laughs> Jay says, can't go wrong with Carter's or Tim's boots. Yeah, Jay, Jay won the, the uh, Tim's boots giveaway way back in the day, too. <clears throat> it's all about rough outs, Mac Daddy says. Yeah, and you got the rough out Fenolio boots from Carter's you could do. Carter's has the uh, Fenolios. Those are made in America, too. Although you, you probably wouldn't be able to, uh, you'd probably still have to spend some money on those <clears throat> Fenolios. They are around 300 at least now, I think. So you'd still, you'd still have to pay at least 50 bucks for them. But still, that's a good deal for a Fenolio. <clears throat> you couldn't find the Rocket Buster boot that you, that you mentioned with the wood grain look. It was on, did you look on their Instagram? I swear I saw it on their Instagram. Let me see if I can find it, and then I'll share the screen here. Because um, I want to see them again, too. I swear it was Rocket Buster. I swear it was Rocket Buster. <clears throat> the Star Boots are from timsboots.com. Yeah, I think that was, that was one of their special brands that they uh, had made. I wonder. I don't remember who made those. Like which bootmaker? Maybe. Maybe I'm getting it confused with a different brand. I'm trying to find those wood grain. It might have been a long time ago, on their Instagram. I'm still scrolling here. They put up a lot of awesome boots, guys. If you don't follow them on Instagram, you have to. It's like, what you did that? How did you do that with a pair of boots? How did you do that with leather? You know. You know. I don't know how they do these things. It's like, are you kidding me? Get out of here. I'm looking for it. I might have I might have spoken wrong. But, I mean, you look at some of their stuff and you're like, oh, yeah, they definitely did a wood grain one. They definitely did. How could they not? Where is it? It might be in one of the, like, slideshows or whatever that they have in here. You want Fenolio's bad, Jeff? It's a good choice. They're so nice. They're so nice. Bust a move in Rocket Busters. Planning on thrifting jeans from eBay that you got with Cowboy Boots. That's a good idea. I just thrifted those uh, Levi's 550s um, from Shop Goodwill. They were new. They were still in the bag. I was like, yeah, I'll bid on those. And then I also got some raw denim... Um, 
diesel jeans. But then I noticed after doing some searching that diesel diesel jeans are oh I found it yes <laughs> I knew it was rocket buster okay okay check this out check this out oh how do I do this oh no okay I can use this one let's see here I can use this one and then we're gonna do this and there it is okay so here we go there it is oh no oh no no how come it's not showing it in the right oh man come on dude oh there we go okay see check that out doesn't that look so cool check that out all right my my picture is still good that's what i'm talking about look at that thing look at that isn't that cool i mean the heel and the sole edge isn't finished but check that out Check that out. That's so cool. I, uh, did they have any other pictures of it when it was finished? See, that's what I'm talking about. I knew it was that. I knew it was them. See? <clears throat> Check it out. So awesome looking, right? <clears throat> so awesome looking. Yeah, I got it. Uh, Jay, I got a jeans review coming uh, on... February 20th, if not earlier. I gave myself some space on that one because I'm not sure I'll be able to do this other video before then. Um, next week is the Pecos, is the Red Wing Pecos extended test review that a lot of people have been asking for. And then um, got some jeans here. Uh, the first jeans video is going to be the Levi's 550. Uh, then I got the Wrangler Riggs uh, work jean or work pant that's flannel lined. So that one has to have priority while it's still winter time. Um, and then I think I have the Levi's 541 um, that I'm going to do. And then I have the Active Flex Cowboy Cut uh, Slim Fit from Wrangler. And then I have another Levi's jean. And I don't remember which one it was. Maybe it was the 569. Oh, not the 569. The 559. Which I haven't done a video on yet, but I have a pair. Because I got them thrifting, but I couldn't do a video on because they were already washed and everything so i didn't really experience them them new and that doesn't help you guys any so i got them new um just a different color than what i already have it's the 559 and then that'll then i'll be done with all of the um levi's relaxed jeans so i can just do all i can just do a video on all the levi's relaxed jeans which would be cool because then you can see them all next to each other in the same video so that's my plan so lots of jeans videos planned for this year um, those and those will happen like maybe once a month or once uh, once every two or three weeks. I don't want to be too. Uh, I don't want it to just turn into a jeans channel, even though you guys like them, so we got them. Uh, the five forty ones. I'm I'm excited to try that. Are there any boots worthy of a zombie apocalypse? Richard, you should check it out because I've made a video on that. <laughs> I made a video on it. <laughs> Uh, if you just search cowboy boots, zombie apocalypse, you'll probably find it. Um, yeah, I, I came to the conclusion that the Hondo, is, or if you want a spoiler to that video, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, the Hondo uh, 7875 is what I chose for a good zombie apocalypse boot. And I go into my reasons why in that video. It's a fun video. Brenna and I went out into the woods like we made blood. Uh, we made blood and stuff uh, beforehand just by mixing like tomato sauce and ketchup and whatever and like red dye because it was like it didn't look enough like blood. So then we did like some red food coloring. And then we, we put makeup on our faces to look like zombies and then ran after each other and then made cuts of just like splattering blood. It was so cool. You should you'll love it. You'll love that video. It never I thought it was going to do better than what it did at the time but it's kind of a weird video so because <laughs> it's about cowboy boots in the zombie apocalypse but you also have a show it was also to be like would rick grimes would that be a good boot his justin 2022 2222 would that be a good boot for the apocalypse that was the whole premise behind it right uh, my conclusion is no my conclusion in that video is no. That would be a dumb boot to have in the zombie apocalypse. You'd wear through those leather soles in six months 
and then you'd be shit out of luck. You'd be eaten. You'd be zombie food. You need a rubber soul. I mean, come on. Walking Dead is not realistic at, realistic at all if he spends six years in the wilderness and never has to get, get his cowboy boots resold. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, we want some... We want some music now? I'm totally all for it. Let me get another beer here. I just finished my Labatt. I brought in a cooler. Um, cooler with an ice pack in it so that my beer would, my beer would stay cold for the after party because I knew I'd probably run through at least one beer uh, during the stream. So, got my, my new beer ready. Ah, that's a great sound. All right, we'll do... Um, we'll do Inflatable Sofa, and then we'll do some grudges that the demons like. I want to try Azulado. I want to try Azulado, Jeff. They look so nice. Someday soon. Rick is the cobbler. Didn't you watch the show? Didn't you watch the show? That, that was in The Last of Us. Joel tried to fix his boots, right? At the cobbler's office. Canadian beer. I got it because I got a big case of it. Because you can only get big cases of beer at Walmart here. We went we went to Walmart to get ready for the Chiefs-Bills game that happened a couple weeks ago. And I was like, I don't need that much beer. But I got it anyways. Because <laughs> life is not about what you need. It's about what you want. And I wanted a lot of beer. So I got a lot of beer, and I'm still drinking it. And I chose Labatt for the Bills game because if you go to Highmark Stadium, it's one of the beers that you can get in the stadium. So it's it's just something that I like to drink when I watch Bills games because it reminds me of being in the stadium. But it's not that good. It's not It's not really good. <laughs> it's just that you that I've uh, attached it to fun uh, fun memories going to Bills games that's what it is you know how it is is that even in tune <clears throat> alright so we got the request for the song watch it all burn from the lake on our inflatable sofa speaking of apocalypse this is an apocalypse song. But sometimes we have this feeling, <clears throat> some days, when we're like, oh. This is a song about, this is a song about when you've just had enough of that shit. You're like, screw it, I'm out. Let's get some Labatt Blues, blow up an inflatable sofa, and just float out on the lake and watch it all burn. That's what this song is about. That's the vibe. So here it is. Watch it all burn from the lake on our inflatable sofa. Well, I barely made it home. Everyone has lost control Thanks to the earthquake And the mysterious plague But I believe it was a sign When I found what the looters left behind Relax, my love We will soon be safe So let's use all the air in our Mess. Yes, let's go out on the lake in our inflatable sofa and watch the world end. I got some beer and trail mix to hold us over till it's safe to start again. Darling, don't shed a tear, the apocalypse is here, but we can still grow older. We can see it turn and watch it all burn from the lake on our inflatable sofa. Mm -hmm. 
as we push off from the shore we can see the world's at war thanks to how beautiful the sky is tonight the ash and clouds above our heads reflects a yellow and a blood red from the cities on fire but out of sight so if it's going to be this way let's try to win Find a good spot to throw the anchor in. Yes, let's go out on the lake in our inflatable sofa and watch the world end. I got my fish and pole and a propane stove. The bass don't know what's coming for them. Darling, don't shed a tear. The apocalypse is here, but we can still grow older. We can see it turn and watch it all burn from the lake on our inflatable sofa. We can see it turn and watch it all burn from the lake on our inflatable sofa. Yeah, buddy, inflatable sofa, that's off the album. Life is for taking chances. If you like that one and want to have it on in the background when uh, you're having a bad day. <laughs> Let's go out on a lake in our inflatable sofa and watch it all burn. Cheers. Smack Daddy has only drinks the Texas beers now. Shiner. Gotta love it. There was a store here that I could get some Shiner at, but they just closed down. <clears throat> Bummer. I got some Shiner there once, and uh, then they closed down, so I gotta find a new place around here to, to get my Shiner. You guys are like, I'll give you a shiner. <laughs> You're like, come on, give me a break with those jokes. We hear them all the time here in Texas. All right, we got some more requests in here. Brian's request was grudges that the demons lack. Then we got uh, she knows where to go. And Smack Daddyus asks for a Cheshire Shows. All right, so we got our request lineup. Thank you guys for those requests. Kick it off here with some grudges that the demons lack. This is off of the Gardner Hands CD that uh, Jim Collins, Vaughn, and Alan won this evening. And you can also hear it on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, and everywhere else. So here we go. Gar uh, grudges that the demons lack. on your back carrying grudges that the demons lack yeah they just come up doing their job looking for your soul to rock mm. moving through the streets at a half past twelve mama says to watch yourself with those dirty demons all right behind Trying to get you in good time yeah. Can't you see through your holy eyes As the sun begin to rise Yeah, you're losing everything along the way On your way to a brighter day It's all to be Is your love So weak That it shivers in the breeze ha. Is this how The heavens A man sets out to be Is your love So weak That it shivers in the breeze
you ain't got no great disguise Pulling up the collar to cover your eyes Yeah, you're moving slow, heavy on your back Carrying grudges that the demons lack Ooh, is this how the heavens meant it all to be? Is your love so weak that it shivers in the breeze? Grudges that the demons lack. Thank you for the request. Let's go. That's off of Gardner Hands, the CD that several folks won this evening. And you can also hear it on Spotify, Apple Music, and everywhere else. YouTube Music. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. RK says, who's your favorite singer? Well, I think my favorite singers, um, based off of just the ability to sing, like their voices... My favorite, a couple of my favorite singers would be Glenn Campbell. That dude, that dude's voice. Are you kidding me? Every time I listen to him, I'm like, are you kidding? Glenn Campbell and Alison Krauss are probably my favorite singers. Just based off of singing ability alone, I really like their, um, their just vocal prowess. It's 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 impressive. So my favorite singers when it comes to voice like that, uh, just the ability to just rip it all the time and have it always sound good. Um, at least used to be for Glenn Campbell. <clears throat> oh, such good, such a good voice, such a good voice. Also, Willie Nelson. It's got a great voice. If we're talking about unique voices. Uh, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, Coulter Wall. Are you kidding me? His voice? His singing voice? So there's a lot of unique voices that I really like, too, at the same time. So, But I think just as far as favorite for singing ability, I'd say Glenn Campbell and Alison Krauss. <clears throat> George Strait, gotta love it. Another great singer. Hank Williams Jr. has a range, just like his father did. If you want to talk about like uh, just awesome singing, Hank Williams too. Uh, Carly Simon, yes, love it, Kelly. Great voice. Let's go. You guys got some good Jerry Jeff Walker. Nice, yes. <laughs> yeah, huge thanks to Twisted Wheel Fabrication for making a bunch of cool stuff. For our giveaways and everything. That's another thing. Like, when you talk about favorite singer, well, are we talking sing favorite singer-songwriter? Because Willie Nelson should definitely be in there. <sighs> for being able to do both. You know what I'm saying? Chris Stapleton. Frickin' Luke Combs, are you kidding me? Zach Bryan. There's some good singers out there, good singer-songwriters as well. So many. George Jones, the possum, are you kidding me? Let's go. Patsy Cline, Emmy Lou Harris, Dolly Parton, let's go, all the voices. Yeah, I know, Glenn Campbell, that's the cool thing about Glenn, Glenn Campbell is he could freaking sing like crazy. He had perfect pitch. But not only that, he'd pick up a guitar and shred it, country style. Like, this is not fair. This is not fair, bro. How? <laughs> Glenn Campbell, special guy. 
Not fair. Loretta Lynn, yes. <clears throat> Go home, Tuner. You're drunk. Next up was She Knows Where to Go, which is what Carol requested. Also off her Gardner Hands. You guys are requesting some Gardner Hands songs this evening. You're killing me. This freaking tuner tells me it's right, and then I try again. Uh, Glenn Campbell singing Crying by Roy Orbison. So good. to go back and listen to that one. There we go. Charlie Daniels, man. I found a... Oh, man. I found a, a, a vinyl of Charlie Daniels' uh, band in the record store around Christmas time. What am I playing here? She knows where to go. It's one of the ones that... Uh, it wasn't like... It was the one with uh, Wooly Swamp on it. <laughs> Swamp music. Maybe that's the one. Maybe the um, the album name. I don't remember what the album name is. But every one of those songs on there is a banger. I remember that was the only CD that I think my my parents had um, when we were grow when I was growing up. Uh, it was the only CD of Charlie Daniels Band that we had in the house. And geez, just all those the the Wooly Swamp. You ever go back in the Wooly Swamp? I better not keep singing it. YouTube's gonna take some of my money. You better not go at night. Love it. Yeah, Jerry Jeff Walker did write a song for Charlie Dunn. It's a fun song. It's so fun. <clears throat> Glenn Campbell's daughter trying to break into the music scene. That's good. I hope so. Mike wants to hear me do Devil Went Down to Georgia. That'd be fun. <laughs> That'd be a fun one. <laughs> Gotta do some... Uh, Got to either find a, a fiddle player or, like, spend a really long time trying to learn that solo on a banjo or something. That'd be fun. James Taylor. Good call. Also, Kenny Rogers and Harry Newson. Nice. <laughs> you guys got some great favorites in here. I love it. All right. Here we go. Carol, thanks for the request. This is She Knows Where to Go. She 
know where to go But she's too young to know That she know where to go Well, to face this curse For the first time hurts the worst Without finding any lines to trace Her past behind, she has the time She knows where to go She don't have to deal with that pain She don't have to face that shame Request, Carol, that's She Knows Where to Go off of Gardner Hands, the CD, or you can hear it on Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube Music, or everywhere else. Have a good one, Freddie. Thank you for joining and watching and hanging out here in the after party. Thanks again for all that you do. I appreciate you. And uh, as you can tell from, he won the strongest stepper 2023, everybody. So thank you, Freddie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cheers. Yoga Black Belt. Thank you so much. Jonah, thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Whew, you guys are the best. You guys are the best. Next up was Smack Daddyuses. Smack Daddyuses. Request a Cheshire Shows. Another chill one. We're winding down here, feels like. So here's a Cheshire Shows. Thanks for the request. Thanks for the request, Smack Daddies. Vaughn emailed me. Going with Tim's boots? That's what I'm talking about. Good choice. That's what I'm talking about. What do you have in mind for a pair of boots? Now that you've uh, perused what they have to offer, uh, let us know in the live chat. Here's a Cheshire Shows. Rusty gate swinging through the cracked window that you climb right in. Homeroom thoughts in the morning carry through. Now it starts with the first button. Lay down, lay down. With no company between us We don't have much time Heels on the stairs And there's creaks in the truss Ooh, Grab your clothes And wait in here Till I return Only oh, in first throws It tests his shoes And I'll make him turn So we can be alone Tell me where 
we were I don't remember how to start it out It starts with our love We are free now to build it up Lay down, lay down With no company between us Shining through the first time Steps on the stairs And the hairs creaks in the trucks Oh, grab your clothes return Only in first throws a tissue shows and I make her turn so we can be alone this love this love this invincible love we crash together no mold for our throats Take for the dawning of our love Now you must turn like a Cheshire show That was a Cheshire show. Thank you for the request, Mac Daddyus. He says, man, sometimes I wish my channel didn't have such a doofy name. Are you kidding me? It's such a cool name. You can never change it. Smack Daddyus. Smack Daddyus. Every time you come in here, everybody likes to say your name out loud. Smack Daddyus. Everybody. <laughs> there is not a single person who doesn't like to say the name of your channel. <laughs> You'd love a vinyl for Life is for Taking Chances. That would be fun. Maybe I'll have to do that. Well, thank you for tuning in, Jonah. Thank you for tuning in, Jim. We're going to close it out here. Uh, like, <clears throat> we're going to, we're going to uh, close it out. Like, Bat, Batosi. Bat wants us to end with Old Boots Got Soul. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Mark has a question of the day before we leave. So do it. Do it up. And we're going to do some Old Boots Got Soul to finish out the stream. And then I'm going to say good night to you guys. It's been an awesome after party, been an awesome live stream. What a way to kick off this season of Boots and Ballads. Have a good one. What is the question of the day? Oh, question of the day for tomorrow. Uh, you want a question of the day for tomorrow's uh, coffee and music? Oh, because it's Groundhog's Day tomorrow? Will Puxitani Phil see his shadow? Will there be an early spring? You went 14 years. 14 years ago to Gobbler's... Oh, you, you've been going to, to Gobbler's Knob for Groundhog Day for 14 years? Nice. That's awesome. That's a fun tradition. I think he sees his shadow. I think he sees his shadow. What about everybody else? <laughs> we'll see what happens tomorrow. We'll do, we'll do a report. You guys might need to remind me. Uh, we'll do a report on coffee music. Tomorrow's coffee music is going to be on Facebook between 8.30 and 9 a.m. So we got we to gotta get to sleep because we, we got coffee music to do. We got to jump right back up and do some more live streaming. <laughs> live stream 24-7. Let's go. I think he sees his shadow. All right, so here's some old boots got soul. Thank you for the request. Thank you for hanging out with me. And uh, love you guys. You're the best. <laughs> I step out in the morning on an uneasy day. The world is split and unsure, so I'm sure to step in the strongest way. With every footfall, I remember who I am. 
each and every memory help strengthen how I stand. We are cracked, but we shine. There ain't a belief or dead end that can keep us confined. It's just for a little pay I kick off my boots Before we do it all again Always remembering where I'm going And never forgetting where I've been We are cracked But we shine Every step for decades It'll be my got sold, so I patch them when they need it, and this life has a toll, I bandage when I'm bleeding, old boots got sold, we carry on this way so we get better. got soul yes love you guys so much thank you thank you thank you for hanging out with me this evening thank you for all the super chat tips i really appreciate you guys tomorrow morning if you want more we got coffee and music number 1353 i believe and that's going to be happening on facebook starting between 8 30 a.m eastern time and 9 a.m eastern time really kind of because I got this whole setup. I mean, the setup will still be set up, so maybe it'll be earlier tomorrow. We'll have to see. Um, but usually, because I'm out recording and doing other stuff, I have to set up, set it up. So you, it's been starting at like around 8.45, just because I have to set it all up. But uh, tomorrow we'll be on Facebook. So I hope to catch you for that coffee and music. Until then, love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out with me on this Boots and Ballads, the first one for the 2024 season. We got another one coming up in March. So hang out for that. I got a lot of fun stuff planned this year, and I can't wait to uh, to show you, to show you uh, everything that happens. So uh, until the next time, let's finish this off like we finish off everything. Kick ass, take names, have a little fun out there. Love you guys so much. Congrats to all the winners. Thank you for watching and listening this evening, and I'm wishing you the best. Love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow morning on Facebook for Coffee Music number 1,353. Cheers!